match of my Welcome favorite. Welcome to LT Outdoors. All the teeth. They look a lot like a channel like I said, with everything the outdoor world fish. has to offer. Okay. <laughs> Ready? I'm going to shut my light off. <laughs> this is a beauty. Sun is coming up, Bob is going down. Fish are all about, jumping all around. Let's hook up the boat, come on, let's go. It's time for LT Outdoors, I'm talking. That's a nice one, sis. LT Outdoors. Might go hunting, fishing, metal detecting. Might even do a little fortune, too. I'm talking. Or sweet tooth. LT Outdoors. Oh, yeah, baby. I hope you enjoy the show. Oh, that's so cool. Special shout out to all my patrons and everybody who donates to this channel. If you want to become a patron, go to patreon.com, look up LT Outdoors. Every month I'll be doing a drawing giveaway for everybody who donates to this channel. No matter how you donate, you'll be added to the list. All right. So I'm out here, guys, trying to do this uh, beaver job that I got called in for. Um, there's some beavers causing a bunch of problems. As you can see, I've got a beaver lodge right here. This is not a very big beaver lodge. If I had to guess, I'd say there's only like two beavers here. We'll see though, sometimes I'm wrong. Um, I did find another spot though that they're living in. I'm gonna set a trap and show you guys that. But, first trap didn't have nothing in it, which is fine. I wanna move that to where I found a good spot. Second trap, however, I see my stake is floating, which is usually a good sign. Usually. Um, it could be just because the ice melted away and maybe it floated up. And maybe I didn't have it in deep enough, but usually I do. Usually it's in pretty deep. Um, and I see the chain. It's hard to see down there, but I also see the chain is kind of off on an angle, which to me seems kind of weird because I wouldn't have been able to set it down there on an angle. So maybe I got a beaver. Fingers crossed, let's see what we got. And I'm gonna move a trap up there, see if we can clean this out. All right, like I said before, Bass Brothers hooked me up with these ones that are, these 330s have chains hooked to them, which I think is great. I like being able to just strap off a chain to a tree nearby and be able to pull it. Um, oh, it feels heavy. The trap's definitely gone off. Hopefully it's not just stuck on some logs. Uh, I think there's a beaver. <sighs> yep, there's a beaver. Oh man, that's a big one. I wasn't expecting that. Dang. Oh, 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 oh yeah. That's another... 45 maybe 50 good lord that's cool because i was blindly setting i should have showed the other day when i did this guys i had to come in here with a spud because this is all frozen and i wasn't even quite sure where to set i just kind of spud it out and what i did is i felt around maybe i could show you with this steak i felt the bottom see it's shallow 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 it's getting deep deep when it gets deep that tells you that's where the channel is the beavers coming and going make things deep so i got lucky and found that channel i put the 330 right in front of it boom we got a beaver so i'm gonna reset right in this channel but i'm also gonna set under that bridge there was a whole big bubble trail going under that bridge so i got a feeling I got a feeling they've got a secondary hole. So, oh, that's exciting though. Very exciting. All right, I've showed this before. I like to set my traps like this, my beaver traps especially, um, standing up like this with the stake going through both springs. And then I just stick it in the run like that. Um, I've, I've had a way better catch rate setting them like this rather than on the side. Not to mention you only need one stake to stabilize instead of two. So, yeah, I'm just going to set this down in that channel I just showed you. We'll be ready to go. All right, you can't barely see it, but stakes there. It was deep down there. I had to reach in and put it down, but what I did, you can see, actually, it is the den hole. Not just a channel, it's a den hole. 
it's kind of cool they're coming underneath this mess of logs if there wasn't ice it'd be a lot easier because I could set wherever I want I could probably put multiple traps along here but because there's ice and logs it makes it tough but yeah this will be should be another catch right here guys and another tool you can use is the ice you can see the bubbles that's the trap is right there right where these bubble trails are coming through going under the log uh, if I had another trap I'd probably put it right there to be honest might have to bring some more with me next time but again I think I found another den hole it could just be a pile of muskrats but we'll find out now you can see all these bubble trails these are all beaver might be some muskrats mixed in but these are coming straight from that beaver den so this is their this is their dam but they come under here um, and there's a little bit of a channel right here under this bridge and I can see where the majority of the bubbles link up so I'm gonna put a trap right here it's kind of tough to figure out because the channel isn't narrow it's not defined really and these bubbles come anywhere from here all the way to there so but it, it looks shallower here yeah it's shallower here than it is there so i'm going to pick the deeper point i'm going to plop a trap Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. Right now I am in front of the mom and pop shop here. Uh, this is right off of uh, 32 here in uh, over by Hillman, right at the corner of Fletcher's Pond. And we are heading out, me and my buddy Kevin are heading out right now on Fletcher's. So let's see what we can get done today, should be fun. Good one? No. Oh no. Loose drag. That wasn't a very good one anyways. No. Oh, little baby guy on the other day you don't do much river fishing no as far as the steelhead and salmon oh that's a good fish oh <laughs> she's a beaut Clark first crappie of the, of the day I'll take it baby yeah
four pound test do you use? Just four. Yeah. Just Berkeley Berkeley Micro Ice four pound is all I ever use. Come on, we need to get down. Oh, that came out I think so I got quick. The micro ice three on this one. That's good too. The I tried one one year. All right, dude, it's so stupid. You can't even set the hook on a perch without breaking. I got that first oh. rod that I had in here. I had two pound on on that little one. That's a, oh. I just put that on there this year, just trying to, because I was fishing like six pound the same like last year, trying to fish more walleye and stuff. But yeah. No, I still wasn't getting no bite. Oh yeah, even else. six is even too heavy for walleye in the winter. They're uh, pretty finicky. I use four for everything. It's just all about the drag. Oh my god, Gemma. Ooh, here we go. Big one, baby. <laughs> no. No, just around the wire. <laughs> Got him. Oh, that's a nice pike. Oh, he's off. Dang it. About to find out. Yeah. It's bigger than what I've caught for the little gales here, but. Did it? Was it on one of my lures by chance? No, nope. it's just a hook. Crap. Sorry. All right, that's a keeper for sure. I'm gonna say 25. Oh, 27. 20. Yeah, he might be. 27. 27 and yeah. probably a quarter. Dang it, Braden. You gotta head one of his lures. Yeah. Well, you should have got in the tournament, Braden. Yeah. We are in the tournament. Are you in it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he put 20 dollars. Yeah. You put 20 in. Yep. Well, he's in it. I am too. <laughs> right, like, you should have brought your paper. Well, keep. Do you have a pair of spreaders? Um, how deep is it? I can usually get them out. I can't. Way down there. It's right back down there in the bottom of the ship. Yeah, my come on. I almost had a crappie too. Just messing around. I seen it bite go through. It might pull out. It's in his in that soft spot. That tough line, so you ain't gonna break it. Yeah, it came out. Oh, broke one hook unless it was already broke. Yeah, it was already broke. Was oh. it? Yeah. Yeah, man. Keep it, and uh, we'll get a picture of it with the. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you brought both. Hey. Yeah, we just fit it, just put it up, put the shanty up, and sitting there, and I look down the hole, and there goes a pike just screaming through it. I he lost goes, one earlier. He says, I got a, I got a, I got a fish. <laughs> it was a crop, it looked like it was about like that. Yeah, see, uh, this oh. is just the trigger that pushes this. It'd be that. something easy to make. Try her out. It's freaking slick, man. Holy smokes. <laughs> yeah. That thing goes. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yep. And that it's is cool. I it, like that. Yeah, and it's super light, man. Yeah. Oh, it's light. A lot lighter than a What the Christmas? Yeah. It's nice, man. Be on the line. There's an extra shelf right there. Oh shit. Here we go, Kev. Pe people coming. <laughs> 
<laughs> How's it going, dude? Nice to meet you. Nice finally. to meet you too. Yeah, I knew we'd meet up. <laughs> yeah, he's my buddy in the shanties, and he's like, I'm "Pretty sure that's him over there." Oh, dude. <laughs> and then I stuck my head out, and I heard you talk, and I was like, "Yeah, that's him." <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to buy one now? <laughs> no, it's pretty awesome. That's Gemma. Ooh, there we go. Oh. Ooh, that's not bad. I'll take that. He swallowed it too. Ooh, there we go. Just a little one. Oh, there was a bigger one behind him. Dang it. Dang it. Come on, get down there. Oh, the bunch of gills coming. Ah. He's almost there. Right down there, still there. Here it comes. Ah, it's not that big. <laughs> Something to catch, though. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. <laughs> Want to know where you can get your LT Outdoors ice fishing tackle? Check out these tackle shops and make sure you see what they got in stock. Don't miss out on the whole line of LT Outdoors ice fishing lures. Increase your ice fishing experience. Also, check out the Panty Pounder. Email me for more info. This season of LT Outdoors is brought to you by Bass Brothers Lures and Baits. All their lures and baits get the job done. Wellman's Bait and Tackle in Oscoda, Michigan. By the bridge in Oscoda, they carry a nice line of LT merch. Mountable Memories Taxidermy. Mounts that'll last a lifetime. Do I look like a ditchable prom date to you?